Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are doing part two of all the games of chess and as I told you it's being released this week so please like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Now continuing from Racing Kings as we did so ending on King E8 we're going into King of the Hill. And King of the Hill is the game where you have to get your king into the center, so over here. But king can't jump over. So if another piece goes in the center, well this is just my tactic for a short game. So it starts, pawn e3, pawn e5, because I, I see most people doing this. So I don't take my king out, and then they take the king out. So then we go king d3, and then they go king e8, <laughs> just to make it... Not stalemate. So we go e4 and then we win. So so it can be longer though, but it's very likely if it's longer, you're gonna be at loss if the king's like over here, like somewhat here on a4. So now let's go into free check. As by the name, you can only tell it it's gonna be easy because free check is kind of obvious. It's where you have to check their opponent three times. So this starts e4, e5, bishop b5, king e7, stopping the check from bishop capturing the pawn. Because if we go, so let's say bishop b5, if let's say they did random like this, we did it, and then we're already in the lead by one check. So e5. Bishop b5, king e7, now queen g4. Now they have to stop this, and then king f6 won't stop it, because they can just go f4, check, they take the queen. We could have even went h4, which would have been better, but this is a beginner blunder. And then we go bishop c4, getting prepared for check, and then king g6 won't work for them. Sad times. e5, not really, because then... Let's say here, no, it doesn't look suitable. So then bishop d3, pinning, well the pawn is right now not, well the pawn is blocking the bishop from checking the king, so the king has to move, h5. So bishop d3, no, e5 is better. So then king h5, here we go, blocking the check, but not really blocking. Can we just go here, bishop d3, check. They take e5, we go f3, and they, and then we go, the king goes d4, and then we can just simply move up on c3, check. It only, this game only ends in a plus, because it's not a mate, but the game has finished, as the opponent can't move. You see, I press the king and I can't move, because three checks, done. Now, hard. Have you ever seen a game like this with many, as much as this pawns before? No. Well, this is named as the Horde game. So black has to take all of white's pawns. That's going to be tricky. And white has to checkmate black. Now, how can you checkmate black with a king? Well, white doesn't have a king. So there's not going to be any checkmate with the queen. But there can be a checkmate with the two queens. So you see, how can you check me? Well, there is a pawn check me as well, but I'm not teaching you that for the moment, but there's also a ladder mate, which I've told you. So let's continue. So from here, it starts e5, then they go e6. We can simply capture, so then they go f6, not capturing. So then we go, we take on d7, check. Then they go here. I have no clue why they do not take. And now they just got a queen, see? Woohoo! See, look, it's like, I took the bishop, I got a queen! Woohoo! So, so then they, so then they go to take it on d4, then we just take on c7 plus, why did we not take the queen? B, queen d7, blocking the check, wouldn't be good to take the queen, and that can take. So then, we just take on d7 plus, what? They just took king g6. Here we go. 
We we gonna be seven. Jet gets a fork, the knight and the rook. Most people resign at this point. Like once they could not do anything about it. So then when I just took the rook, they resigned. One of my opponents before. So then they go bishop e seven, protecting this pawn. Well, the pawn on f six. And then here we go. We queen goes e seven to take. Um, bad move. And then they go f five. Huh? I don't get it. Then we take on g7 check. They have to take on g7. That's an illegal move. So we go e6, getting ready to promote a pawn. They go king g6, protecting this pawn on f5. And so then e7, knight could have taken, but they instead went king g7. We went e8 for a queen. See, again, undo that move. We get a queen. Woohoo! And also, there's another tactic called under promotion, which means you can promote to a knight, which is the only check as well. Or even you could do, let's say, you could even promote to a rook for under promotion, because under promotion is promoting a pawn for something that's less than the queen. Or even you can just promote for a bishop as well. So those are all under promotions. But from the queen strategy, which is not under promotion, they get a knight e7, silly move. So then we take on e7, check. And here we go, king g6. We take on g5, check. They take on f5, and now we go a7. Why did the rook not take? No, no chess players would do that, not even one, unless they were smart. And then we take a8, they go b4, wow. We take b4 on the c1, on the c pawn, well c3 pawn, and then we, they go king g6, so then we take the rook, and then they go king f7, so then we take here, and then that's a check. And by the way, now, here we go. So, there's no king, so how do we do the checkmate with a queen? Well, we can't, so we do a ladder mate. But more like a pawn ladder mate, because you get me. Moving your pawn up and up and up until it becomes a queen, and then the queen see and the king is like on this battle. So, here we go. King F. So, F. So, king goes F. So, then, king F8. We go D7. And then, when I just realize there's no kings how do you do it i don't know well king g8 queen e7 king h8 so then we go g6 so then they go g8 then we just do like h5 then they go h8 then we go g7 check they're only legal move well they have two legal moves, but they go g8 and then we go h6 so then they go h7 so then we do a g8 for a queen and then they so then, then they take on h6 and we go here and then they take on h6 and then and then the queen on the g file goes to f7 and that's a stalemate so instead after after king takes why not king on the g1 goes to f8 and then king g6 there's nothing they can do about this the, now the queen on the f f6 ah. so then they go h5 and they can't take that so then we go queen e4 so then they go so then queen e4 then if well queen e4 makes another stalemate so why not the queen f after Queen F F eight, so then King G six, then we go Queen F F seven, then King H six, then we go on F E six plus, then they go H five, then we go on the well the Queen on the seventh E square goes to D six, then qu Queen A eight after well, and then Queen A eight instead because then that becomes another stalemate sometimes and then king h6 
the queen on the e1 goes a7, so then, so then they go king g6, so then we go queen a5, so then they go g7, so then we go on the, the queen on the eighth one, a6, king g8, and then we go queen c7, and then king h8, there's no choice, but it's a mate, as queen goes a8. Now finally, crazy house. And so this is the one where you can capture, when you capture a piece, then you can place that down on your next go. How is that possible? It's like you just captured a queen, you could get an extra queen without promoting a pawn. Amazing. So, so I'm just gonna skip off these moves. So then they go in here, then we go here, then because this is a long game, which I invented. See? I'm not going to speak that much because I don't really have much to say on this game, actually. And then I just skipped quite a lot of it, if you noticed. So then... We go knight e2, blocking the checks, so then we can safely castle. So then queen e3, um, we take on e3, really bad move. So we place our queen down, see? We have a queen, What you can take. I think it's a hard part. So knight h6, we do. Queen D, A6, plus. Now, that's basically like a stalemate for the king as they can't go out of check, you see. But there were only was one legal move, if you noticed. Can you find that legal move? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And yes, have we found it? Yes, it's knight captured the queen, a6. But we're not doing that because knight h6. Then instead, if we go this queen on the c file, b4, mate. As king has nowhere to move and so nothing does. See, it's flying. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Bye!